Well, over the weekend, the Justice Department arrested an, an Idaho teenager who was allegedly on the verge of carrying out a massive terror attack involving several assaults on multiple churches in and around his hometown. ABC's M1 has more from Washington. The FBI announcing an 18-year-old from Idaho arrested just hours before his alleged planned terror attack on multiple churches in his hometown of Coeur d'Alene. Alexander Mercurio seen here, knife in hand, expressing his allegiance to ISIS, according to the Justice Department's criminal complaint. There's been a steady stream of people uh, attempting to, to promote ISIS, to be involved in pot potential attacks. And this, I think, is another example of, of self-radicalization, where you have an 18-year-old that gets caught up in the whole idea of what ISIS is. The FBI says Mercurio's plot involved a murderous rampage using knives and firearms to kill parishioners. He also planned to use butane canisters to set their houses of worship on fire, going from church to church until he was killed by police. The affidavit says Mercurio sent an audio file to an FBI confidential and that his plan grew more precise, where he would, quote, incapacitate his father, restrain him using handcuffs and steal his firearms to use for maximum casualties in his attack. What the FBI usually does is place either a source or an undercover agent into the conversation. And then that can build over weeks or months until the person start stating they're actually going to launch an attack. This alleged attack planned for the end of Ramadan, eerily similar to the ISIS assault on a concert hall in Moscow about two weeks ago that left 144 people dead. A federal court date has not yet been set and Mercurio has not entered a plea. It's also not clear if he has a lawyer. He faces up to 20 years behind bars if convicted. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. Investigators believe Mercurio's alleged efforts to carry out an attack intensified following the March concert hall attack. Russian and U.S. authorities have blamed an ISIS group for that attack.